King Charles has shown he isn't weak after booting Harry and Meghan out of Frogmore. Lizzie Cundy shared her thoughts exclusively with Express.co.uk at the Together for Short Lives red carpet event. Socialite Lizzie Cundy did not hold back when she gave her opinion on King Charles evicting Prince Harry and Meghan Markle from Frogmore Cottage. The king had asked the couple to leave the historical landmark at Windsor and it comes following the publication of the Duke's memoir Spare. Speaking at the children's charity together for short lives, Ms. Cundy told Express.co.uk the move showed the king had real strength. At the beginning of March, the Duke and Duchess of Sussex were asked to vacate Frogmore Cottage. The couple renovated the 10-bedroom property back in 2018 after it was gifted to them by the late Queen Elizabeth II. After their wedding, they acquired the home at a cost of £2.4 million, which was initially paid for using taxpayer money. This was until Prince Harry repaid the funds in full. The couple's spokesperson said, We can confirm the Duke and Duchess of Sussex have been requested to vacate their residence at Frogmore Cottage. When asked what she thought about the King's decision, Ms. Cundy said, Hurrah, at last. King Charles is showing he has really got the crown jewels and he is showing he's in charge and the boss. I'm so pleased he has taken control, I know he doesn't like confrontation. I know he's weak at times, but now he's showing his real strength. And this is the start, we have got the coronation, which is the best thing. Miss Cundy went on to say how she was loving her recent TV appearances as she can speak the truth as the voice of the people. In 2022, Harry and Meghan spent their daughter Lilibet's first birthday at Frogmore Cottage. In 2020, the pair left their roles as working members of the royal family and moved to California. The news of their eviction was followed by reports that Prince Andrew had been offered the home. Buckingham Palace has not commented on the eviction and the reports about Andrew have not been confirmed. Ms. Cundy is not the only person to have aired their views in support of the King's decision. Piers Morgan also supported the choice when he addressed the news on his uncensored show. Piers was joined by journalist Kevin McGuire who stated, There's a new sheriff in town and he's going to be known as the Iron King. Piers asked Kevin, Is this the act of a king, not a father? Has he basically put his new status as the monarch and the interests of the monarchy and his role as king above what maybe his instinct is as a dad?